This is an introduction of the CCMA Exploration Network of Fundamentals. First of all, welcome to CCMA 1 Exploration Network Fundamentals video. This is an introduction of the fundamentals of network concepts and technologies. Just to give you an idea what's necessary to start to develop the skills necessary to plan and implement small networks across a range of application. I'll be uploading some videos and materials to my website and I hope you enjoy these as much as I do. These materials are designed to be used along with several other tools and activities. Here in my website I'll be uploading some PowerPoint tutorials with the graphic representation, some examples, text documents with practice questions so you can think how does it work behind the scene. If you could use a lab equipment it would be great. Uh, with a minimal, I'd say, uh, three Cisco routers, three Cisco switches and three PCs, that would be great. Uh, it's, it's, it's really good if you, if you have those uh, quantities so we can practice most of the, of the exercises I'll be uploading here. But I know it's not always the case, uh, you know, to be able to have access to those equipments. I know they are quite costly, you can go on eBay and get some cheaper ones, but uh, it's not always uh, useful to, to have loads of gear, loads of kit at the at home or whatever you uh, might be studying. There are also uh, some simulator tools, uh, which is great. Uh, I know it's not the same as, uh, as if you have the equipment, but it can help you very much with the exercise. Uh, the main one I would say is Packet Tracer, the one uh, from Cisco. Uh, the only thing is uh, you want to be able to download it from Cisco website and uh, you must be a Network Academy member so you can download. There are several other network simulators. The other one I can indicate you to use, and it's free to download, it calls GMS3. Uh, just do a quick search on Google and uh, look for it. But uh, I'll be using packet tracing most of my uh, exercises here and most of my examples. Uh, this photo here is from uh, packet tracer 4.1. Uh, there's a latest version uh, 5.2. So basically the, the network technology is something that affects all of us in a variety of a range through uh, data, video and voice and the uh, network can be different from each other and, and none are equal as you might know uh, if you have access to it. So uh, I'll be uploading some material here on a regular basis. Uh, Keeping in touch and uh, discussing with all of you if you want to participate and, uh, and uh, share some of your thoughts, um, I'll be here. And uh, I would like to say that I have by no mean intention of being a guru or know all, uh, as I'm, my intention here is, is just to, to learn together, share the information, and uh, maybe, I don't know, learn a bit more about it because. As you, I'm still learning and I'm still searching and I'm still uh, sort of organizing myself and see what, what this is going to lead me to. Um, I recommend you to go food and search online for as much material as possible and from different point of view as possible to understand what we're looking for. And uh, the start point I would say is uh, go on Cisco Learning website as you can see here you, there's loads of material there uh, i'd say just just do a, a search on google for net academy or net acad it's the abbreviation of it uh, here you find uh, some latest news books material and uh, or even if you want to register for for the course uh, they will they will advise you on how to If I may, I would like to give you some tips to study. Uh, the best approach is to learn as much as you can, but learn properly. It is important to know that the materials here only to assist you in your learning process. 
it depends on you how you can utilize in practice to learn what is rep represented here you must have a commitment with yourself to learn new skills i divided in six let's say six steps uh, number one take notes professionals in the network field often keep journals in which they write down the things they observe and learn take notes is an important way to help you understand and grow over the time so you can go back and and see how you did it and you know, how you can use it and you, you you might even you know come across something that you could just use uh, some of notes you were uh, left with before two say think about it the material for a study provides information to change what you know and what you can do as you go through the material ask yourself what makes sense and what doesn't stop and ask questions when when you're confused talk with colleagues or ask your instructor or ask your boss or your manager or whoever involved in in in, in this process with you try to find out more about topics that interest you if you're not sure why something is being thought consider asking your instructor again or a friend like i said uh, just you know just think about how different parts of the course fit together part three see practice learning new skills requ requires practice practice as much as you can every mi minute counts use the material use the labs use the simulator software practice 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 step four <laughs> practice again have you ever thought that you knew about something and then you just realize oh i don't know especially when you have a test or a work you discover that you just didn't really had it mastered so just practice 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 it's just like you know learning a new uh, new skill like sport game language Learn a new professional skills require patience and repeated practice before you can say you have to learn. Step five, teach it. Just like I'm doing here. I mean, I'm not actually teaching, I'm just, you know, just refer referring you the material. But say, you know, teaching a friend or a colleague is often a good way to reinforce your own learning, to teach well, or you have to work through details that you may have overlooked or in the first reading so it's, it's it's kind of you know thinking uh, while you were teaching so it's, it's it's quite good to have a conversation about the course material with your fellow students or colleagues and instructor uh, it's just to help you uh, you know fixing your mind fixing your memory you know about the you understanding the the, the network concept so it's, it's, it's quite good and the last bit I'd say it's a make uh, just make change as you go you know uh, make the most of the material you use into a stud uh, play online quizzes there are plenty of games online related to network uh, discussing related forums uh, it's just could help you identify where your weakness are uh, if there are any area that you are having trouble with uh, focus study or practice more in the area ask your instructor uh, colleagues uh, talk about it or just you know search on the internet but uh, while you're doing it is just uh, see try to see in a different point of view um, those are my uh, tips uh, for the introduction of this uh, course so I hope you enjoy it this is the CCNA one the introduction of network fundamentals thank you